In this video, we're going to learn how to loop through the items in a list using a while loop in Python. So for example, if we have a list data with the items 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, to loop through the items in this list means to access each item in this list with each iteration of a loop. We can also call this iterating over the items in a list. We would typically use a for loop to do this. So for example, we could have for item in data. And this for loop will run for each item in this list in order. And each time it does, item is going to be set to the next item in the list. So for example, we could have here print item. Then if we save this and try it out, we'll get the items of our list, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we could also use a while loop to loop through the items in this list. The way a while loop works is that the loop is going to continue so long as some condition is true. So while some condition is true, this loop body is going to continue to execute. Now each item in this list is available at an index. So for example, 5 is available at the index 0, 6 is available at the index 1, and so on for the rest of the items in this list. We can access the items using data and then the index here. So for example, data at the index 3 would give us this item here, eight, in the list. Now what we'll use is a special variable called the counter variable to loop through each item in the list. What we'll do is begin our counter variable off at the index zero, while we'll i is equal to zero. So the first time this loop body runs, we'll have i set to the index of the first item in the list, and we can use i to access that item with data at the index i. Then what we'll do is at the end of our loop body, we'll increment i by one, we'll have i plus equals one to increase the value of i by one with each loop iteration. So in the first loop iteration, i is going to be set to the index zero. But then the next time the loop runs, i is going to be set to the index one. And the next time the loop runs, i is going to be set to the index two and so on. Now eventually we do want this loop to stop. So we'll stop the loop once i reaches five, the length of the list, because that would mean we've gone through each item in the list. Now we can find the length of the list using the len function. So we'll have the condition here while i is less than, and we'll call len and pass it data. And this here is going to return five because we have five items in the list. And we'll continue this loop so long as i is still less than the length of the list. Now what we'll do here is initially just print out i. So we can see i go from zero to one to two to three to four with each loop iteration. We'll have here print and i. And if we save this and give it a try, we'll see here i does go from zero to one to two to three to four with each loop iteration. Now instead, let's actually access the item in the data list at the index i. We'll have data at the index i. And if we save it and try it out now, we'll get five, six, seven, eight, and nine, because now we're actually using i to access each item in the list. Now, as to when it's preferable to use a while loop and counter variable to loop through the items in a list compared to using a for loop, generally speaking, it's actually preferable to use a for loop. That said, a while loop and counter variable can be very flexible. So for example, we could have some unusual logic like for example, if the item in the list is equal to six, then we want to skip over the next item in the list. We could implement that easily with a while loop and counter variable. We could have here, if the item in the list at the index i is equal to six, then what we'll do is increment i by two with i plus equals two. Otherwise, we'll have increment i by one. So in this case, we'll have i go from zero to one, then at this index where the item is equal to six, we're going to increment i by two, and i will now be three in the next loop iteration. And so we'll get five, six, and eight, and nine as our output. So if we save it and try it out, we do get five, six, eight, and nine. So this is how we can loop through the items in a list using a while loop in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.